Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how to make this birthday cake, which is, I, my, I managed to complete this birthday cake just in time for its own birthday. Uh, yeah, see if that makes sense. Okay, so a while back, I showed you guys how to make this pretty gift bowl for the cake and I've been meaning to get back to this project and I'm sorry it took me so long, but here it is. We're going to decorate a birthday cake. So the first thing I am going to do, I am going to cover my board with a piece of scrapbook paper. I'm gonna glue it onto my board. I'm gonna glue some ribbon around it and get it ready to put my cake on top of it. The board is covered with a scrapbook and now I have my cake. This is the cake that I covered a while ago for this project, but uh, unfortunately we didn't get to it fast enough and now as you can see, the fondant is really wrinkly. This is what happens when a cake gets old. But, you know, I'm trying to get this done and show you guys, so we're gonna do it. Okay, the cake is ready and now we start with the decorations. So, I have white, no, I don't have white. I have yellow and orange fondant, which is the colors that I used for my bow. So I'm gonna make some ribbons to decorate the cake to match the bow. My plan is that I'm going to make two ribbons like this, just like if it was a real gift. Different from what I did for the bow, I am going to just glue the first strip of yellow and then I'm gonna glue the other strip of orange on it so I don't have to build them one on top of the other. Oh, wait, actually, I want to do something else. I'm going to make a tag, so I'm going to mix a little bit of white fondant with some gum paste, sorry. I'm going to mix a little piece of white fondant with gum powder, with gum text, with this, this, this is what I'm using, fine, there. Tie loose. And then I'm going to roll it out really thin and I'm gonna cut it to make it look like a paper tag. I'm going to now mix this piece of fondant with enough tie loose that until, until it is pretty firm to the touch and it's not as soft. Here is the tag and this is the old one and this is the new one and we're gonna just let them sit there and it'll be a competition. We'll see which one's harder by the time we're done with a cake. So here, this is the part where if you're using a real cake to eat, you wanna put a straw in the middle and then you're going to just slide this inside the straw. But since my cake is a year old, <laughs> since it's so old, I'm not even gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna stick my my wire right into it, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, this cake is so old, it's so hard. So I, I will just grab my marker, I'm gonna write something here, and then I have already a couple of strips of yellow and orange, and I have my clay extruder with a thin, round, little tip. So I'm gonna roll out two little thin pieces of ribbon to, um, I'm gonna, how do you say it? Like knead through, is that? I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put the tag on a ribbon and put it on the gift, like if it was a real thing, so. These are my favorite edible ink pens. It's made by Food Art Rainbow Dust Colors. That's who makes them. And they're awesome because it has a very thin tip and a thicker tip. It's a birthday cake. Oh, shoot. This is the first birthday for the cake. That's why I wrote happy birthday. I don't know if I told you guys that, but that was my idea. So, happy birthday cake. It's a year old cake. This is the longest 
it's ever taken me to finish a cake, but I did it. Happy birthday! Can you guys hear how hard this thing is? I'm not eating it. Okay guys, this is it, the birthday cake. Just in time for its own birthday. Um, a whole year, but it looks good. And happy birthday to you, cake. I am not going to eat you. That's my gift to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you give it a try. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up and the bell icon. And thank you so much for watching.